our adventurers successfully complete the quest to save Mayrina, and we got a very interesting item called Second Marriage. And guess what? This item will allow us to summon Zombie, and he will be extremely useful on battlefield. But as it usually happens, this story starts in Druid Grove, where you meet Auntie Ethel, and she will invite you to visit her tea house. I'll be heading home soon. Be sure to come visit you here. We got a quest get help from Auntie Ethel, because she's promised us to help with the parasite to remove it. Let's take a look on the map. So, we need to go south, cross the bridge and then south, till we reach a tea house. Our adventurers was marching through the forest when they hear a conversation. Ok, what's going on? For the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. And this is a moment where you have to make a decision. Will you believe brothers or will side with Auntie Ethel? Personally, I don't believe her at all. And you know what? If you side with her, she will try to remove the parasite. But she only will remove your eye, not the parasite. And you will also get Auntie Ethel charm that's supposed to help you with parasite in the future. I will side with the brothers and try to rescue a poor girl. Bollocks! You were supposed to rush to my defense, love. Fat lot of good you are. Some advice? You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. Bye bye now. And she's gone. She just disappeared. She had seen head. nothing like that before. She could shoot fireworks out of her backside for all I care. The hag has Rina. My Rina loved her husband so much, but he died, and now she wants him to be resurrected to bring him back to life. And to do it, she make a deal with a hag. A completely bad idea, if you ask me. But those brothers want to rescue her. As a wizard, I know that hugs are you very powerful creatures. That Is that it? Hold on, Joel. Let him talk. What would you suggest? I suggest you to put all work on me. Just are step aside. I ain't got a clue who you are. No way I'm leaving Rena to you. But not a chance. We're getting her back on our own. Now come on. There are no way for us to convince them, leave that idea and let me deal with it. Well, 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 we got a new quest called Save My Rina and a whole new area to explore. And by the way, friends, the stuff we will get in the end will be one of the artifacts Gale won. I mean your companion Gale. He is not included in my party because I am a wizard myself. But if you have him, it's better to take him on this mission. Oh my god, this place is really dangerous. But probably there will be secrets a runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. Watched by whom? Arcana. Will it be successful? Of course, because I'm a good wizard. Hmm. All of this was just an illusion. In you reality, in the wilderness changes. It's a swamp. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. This quest will all be about illusions, my friends. Illusions will be everywhere. And that's the second reason why you should take Gale with you, as your party member because he can break this illusion, like I did, and here we go, a false secret, Someone wasn't as fortunate in their choice of campsite as us. Oh, it looks so brutal, blood all over it. And you know, we can find a lot of, of food here, so much and another backpack. 
and believe it or not, but even a loot. But we are here for a real treasure. Let's go over here. And guess what? Mm. Oh yeah, we will What's find that? a treasure, a real one. Let's open this chest and see what it hides. Hmm, a little bit of gold, plenty of food and bottles of water. Friends, take those bottles of water. They will play a huge role further in the quest. Okay, let's take it all. Now it's time to explore the island area of the swamps. Let's go over here. And you see there will be a huge island. Yeah, I mean this one. And it's really very hard to get here. You can use a misty steps and just teleport yourself. But I will try to jump my way. Come on, can you do it? Let's go over here. And another jumping. This island is dangerous, but it's full of treasures. We just must visit it. Okay, you see? Some enemies here. Good work. And who are you? Hmm, <laughs> some flying creature. Okay, this will be our first combat. Let's go and face this creatures of evil. This combat will be extremely painful. These woody creatures have a regeneration and they are so powerful. And about these little flying creatures, oh guys, there will be plenty of them. But it can be done. Even if you play low level characters, cause my characters are level 3. But I advise you to come here at least at level 5. Okay, it's time to open this wooden chest. Probably the most precious treasure on that island. Let's go and see. Oh, some gold, an arrow, torchlight, and gloves, friends, uncommon gloves, very good one. Let's take it all. But there will be another treasure on that island. Let's go and inspect it. You see? On the far shore there will be another chest full of treasures. Come on, guys. Let's open it. And... How disappointing it is. Actually, maybe for blacksmiths it will be a good treasure. But for me, no. And you know what? This island hides another very suspicious place. I mean this plateau. There must be a treasure here. At least something. But no matter how hard I search, I don't find anything, completely anything over here. Okay, and that means we explore all the island and it's time to go back. Go back to our adventure, to our quest. To save the girl. Let's do it. Let's go here and just jump back. And once again... Let's proceed. Our next destination point is this place. As soon as they get there, there will be a perception check, but it failed, so I don't know what it means. Maybe you complete this check, so let me know in the comment section below. Trend. And while we're doing this, let's inspect this crate. Nothing special, just a rope. But what will be interesting is those red cap guys over here. Let's go and try to talk Dead. one of them. I thought they had a sister to find. That's just... The murderous glare of a red cap, a fey creature known for its bloodlust, greets you. Mm. Ah! That noise. Is the creature pretending to be a sheep? And naturally they do. They think that illusion still works. And if you don't dispel illusion, there will be sheeps here. 
but we dispel it and we know that it is red cap goblins. But let's answer this. <laughs> because you see, it improves our relations a little. Let's talk with this creature once again. We see its true form. It's not a sheep, it's a red cap. Again? This creature doesn't realize you can see its true form. Uh, you are not a sheep. Nosy, scum sucking, lice ridden little ball bag. Get out, or I bite its tongue. Eats tongue. Delicious tongue. It seems that he loves Tom. I'm not going anywhere. <gasps> I bleed you. Oh, really? You will make many delicious holes yet. Yes. Come and try me. I just defeated wooden creatures. And friends, actually this combat will be even worse. It will be so brutal, so prepare yourself very well. But still, it will be not a problem for a true adventurers like Via. Okay, Swift before we go forward, me. there are a few little minor secrets over here. The first one will be over here. Let's go. This swamp looks so bad, I want to leave it, but not yet, not yet. Okay, and our mission to go over here, you see? That might be worth a look. Oh, and we found a hidden punch with a few spells and a gold coins. There also will be a few crates. This one is empty, but this one, oh, this one holds a treasure. Let's collect it. Yeah, a little bit of gold and a bloodstone. Now let's go back. Oh, I already lost myself in this swamp. But no, we must go over here. Because there will be very suspicious place right here, you see it? Probably another treasure. We just have to go here and take a look. Maybe there will be something valuable inside. Ow! Come on, guys! Maybe you will find it. Nope. Oh, that's bad, friends. Okay, but there is something here. It's buried and it's protected very well. If you were more lucky than me, of course, let me know. And here we are on our mission again and the two brother lying dead. Poor fellows, I said them, go home, I will deal with it by myself. But they never listened, and look how it ended. Oh, I wish I can resurrect them all. Hmm, a letter? Okay, nothing very important, we already know it. A teleportation room, that's good. And just before we continue our adventure and enter the hut, we must visit a few places. This will be a very interesting location. So if we go up here, there will be a fellow. And guess what? He will be a vampire hunter. And he is looking for our friend, for your companion. He don't know him in the face and it will be a very interesting conversation that probably will end with a fight. He is not a strong enemy and you will deal with him very easily, but I will leave this part of the game to you. Without any spoilers, let's go other way. Here we will find another creature, very interesting creature. I do so many things to unlock its secret, but still failed. Let's go over here and you see Froggy. Let's talk to her. The frog's entire body shakes. It ribbits erratically as if in pain. This frog definitely hides a secret. It shies away, croaking a warning, eyes wide in terror. 
And the only option that will allow us not to get into combat with this froggy will be this one. Don't worry, I leave you alone. It croaks softly, calmed. But the frog's eyes watch your every movement. There is a huge secret behind this frog, I just felt it. But no matter what I do, and I do a lot, I even try to talk with her. I don't solve this mystery, maybe when the hug is dead we can return here and find something interesting. Just maybe, we will try it. But for now let's go closer to the hut. Or there will be a well. Very interesting old well, and you will have an option to drink water from it. A or fetid not. smell assaults your nostrils. Dead flesh lies below. Yeah. A great deal of it. Probably this will be a terrible idea, but you know what? If you drink from it, she will approve. Our green lady likes it. A warm rush of power flows through you. You feel stronger, faster. Better. Oh, I'm afraid this coin will have another side, because Hug mentioned something about it. But okay, it's time to enter the hut, finally. Can we do it from here? No. Let's go from the main entrance. Well, hello, hello. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. She always wants someone to eat something. I remember that potion in a druid grove that made... Uh, nobody knows from what it was made. Okay, but we will choose wizard option. Oh, the wizard thinks he's smart because he can read. Of course I'm smart. How precious. You know, I was going to give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door. But I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Okay, let's have a fun. Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. Let's stand up for Marina. Do you treat all your guests so poorly? Mm -hmm. Watch that tone, sweetie. You want to be in my good books, trust me. That wriggler in your head isn't going to get its damn self out, is it? Something Busy isn't right. Are not appreciated around here. Must you stick out your neck for every dimwit in distress? I'll talk about your wriggler, and that's it. Last warning. Oh, that was a last warning. No, this woman is clearly in trouble. You want to play the hero so badly? Fine. Let's make this interesting. Not problem. I love to play heroes. Oh my god. Look at her. Oh, that's her true form. Hello, hello, Auntie. And the combat started. But actually, she don't want to fight us right now. You see, she escapes through the fireplace. Okay. And here we are in the hut. What to do next? Friends, first of all, search everything. This house is just full of different kind of potion. Even the potion that will allow you to talk with animals. And you will also find a plenty of food here. After you loot everything that can be looted here, it's time to put down the fire. And just go past this fireplace. Just to this room. You remember everything here is just an illusion. 
let's go down. And here we go in the tunnels. So deadly, so mysterious. What is that? Let's I go. can't. You are as thick as they come, sweetness. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! No way. Has that wriggler eaten your brain already? Leave. Or you'll end up in tonight's stew. We'll go nicely with Marina. She's already she looks married. so good. <laughs> okay, Hug, so this is your secret hideout. Let's explore it a don't, little bit. No, My sweet cat, whose beloved asked that his beauty never fade. Oh my god. What is this place? My darling Magrin. She wished for the mind of a genius, but that silly head crossed me. So, she's fulfilling the wishes of people, but not the way they want them to fulfill. This poor dear wished never to lay eyes on her family again. Oh my god. That's so terrible. My dearest Efren, he begged me to halt the deadly disease that ravaged him. So she turned him to stone. Can I get up? Maybe? Maybe she have something. Oh, a golden ring? Not a bad after all. Hmm. I think we must go this way. Oh, and feel door, crushing a waves huge of door. fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through, not again. And this will be a puzzle, friends. What happened last time you opened? Images flash. A man cowering, a bag open at his feet. Gold coins spilling onto the floor. Hmm. His cries for mercy are cut short as the hag slices into him. Dismembering him painstakingly, limb by limb. She cackles. The man's remaining flesh, oh twisted and contorted, becoming she must the pay twisted for surface of the door before you. Flee, okay. you feel it cry. No, I will not flee. I'm not afraid of the hog. A scene appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Naughty. That's a decade for each. You're mine for thirty more years, Pekka. This door just afraid to let us in, but let's try to do twitches, it. But stays firm. And finally, we have a few skill checks. I recommend to use number two. If I kill the hog, you will be free. Let's try to pass it. Excellent. You see the hag. She walks through the door. Its form shimmering. The lightest touch of hope brushes your mind. It's just an illusion like retreats. everything else. Oh my god. But even if you fail everything you can, don't worry, friends. You see the stable and masks on it. Just take one and equip it. And this door will let you through. Just don't forget to take it off once you go through this door. Because those masks, oh, this will be an unpleasant surprise if you forgot to take it off, of course. And let's go and talk to the self. Who are you? What's wrong with you? I see it. What's to come? You realize there's magic at work. Some type of spell. An illusion. Oh my god, illusions all around. Dead. Dead. 
flesh rotten, bones shining. Hmm. Skull splitting, knife twisting, guts She spilling. chased by a nightmare. All bad, all gods, don't hurt me. You're safe with me, I swear. No, no, monster. For mind dripping, flesh peeling, mind flare. Mind flare. How do you know about it? Hmm. Get away, get away! That's amazing, guys! No and if somehow you solve the secret of this poor fellow, I mean Lauren, please also let me know in the comment section below. But now we know how to open this door using the mask or just using a skill checks and just walking past it. But it's just as an illusion. Like everything else here, just an illusion. And here we go guys, this fight is really most brutal fight I ever encountered in whole game at least so far. And maybe you wonder what strategy I use, ok, let me show you. I just go over here, putting all my heroes closer right here. And throw a bomb and this fellow, cause it's a healer of whole team and we must get rid of him quickly. This fellow, I mean that one. Don't attack it with melee attacks, only with a ranged weapon. Well, use all the spells you have, all potions, all bombs, everything. It took me 3 hours and 7 attempts to win this fight. And guys, let me know how many attempts it took you to win it. Anyway, minions of the hug is defeated and our ways lie here through the waterfall. There must be a treasure behind the waterfall, but not this time. Not this time, my friends, there will be gas pits. We must jump. Ok. I forgot this completely. Oh, that after saving. And there are no way to avoid these gas pits. You just have to run through them. And there will be bombs, you see. They will set these traps on fire. Avoid it. Or just let the luck decide it all. You must go here, closer to the cage. Be wary. I believe in you, friends. Trapped. You will survive. Maybe not, of course. It's not good before the final fight, but let's do it anyway. Oh, anyone alive? Go here. Take you. Come on, my main hero, I still need you. Oh my god, there are so many of those gas traps. Trap. Be cautious. The gas itself is not that dangerous. It's bombs. Oh, they are dangerous. Okay, but anyway, we almost <coughs> managed to pass through. Yes, it's done. Time to drink a healing potion. Uh, take a short rest. Everything to restore your power. And finally you gathered enough courage to fight this switch. But what you just must know about this combat. You see, in the middle of the room there will be a cage and Marina inside it. And you know what? Hug will set it on fire right on the throne one. And the girl will die, so we have to avoid it at any cost. We will start our combat with something like that. Do you remember? I told you to keep a water we found in the swamps. Let's take a water and throw it inside the cage. Come on. Excellent. And it's time to start the combat cage. itself. Time to press ahead. Come on, where are you? 
Well, hello. You come to my home, interfere in my business, and now have the gall to face me in the heart of my lair. You petulant bollocks. Just get out of here, please. And the thing is, you can win this fight very easily, but you will miss an item, uncommon item, that Hack has. <laughs> and you can push her out in the chasm by multiple ways, but I want to finish her in normal way to show you something. First of all, I want to show you an item, and you know, when she is about to die, there will be a few interesting options. And I want to clarify one thing, for some reason you can't just throw water from your inventory. You must choose throw, then scroll find water, choose it, and then throw into the cage, you see? Fire is gone. And one more thing, she likes to create illusion. The real she will be over here, but to deal with illusion, use anything, you can use this bomb, or you can use a spell like this, anything with a mass effect, and illusions will come. Oh, that's real you. Wait, oh, wait just a tick. Let's be civilized about this, eh? I have something you want. When her health point will drop to 10 or even below, she will beg for mercy, and as a reward she will promise to increase one of our stats permanently. And with the skill checks we even can set my winner free. But I think another outcome when she not survive it will be way more interesting, and my friends, you viewers want to know what she has in her pockets. So, no. I guess you just have a bad day, Mitch. No, Petal. There's, there's no need for such talk. Let me leave with the girl, and I'll give you power. You want to be stronger, tougher, smarter, done. Anything is possible. Just let me keep the girl and her babe. The witch is dead, all my characters have only one health point left, but they survived, so what was inside her inventory? A pretty good magical stuff, a very good bow, and yes, this charm, it will help you to stay alive. So let's take it all. Okay, and now it's time to talk to my Rina. You bastard, you ruined it! You ruined everything! That was unexpected. This is an interesting way of thanking me. You want thanks? A slap is all you deserve. Very Everyone's nice going of to you. bring my husband back. Back from the dead. And now I'll never see him again. Because of you. I was fine. She wouldn't have killed me. I had something she wanted. Just a bit longer, and my child would have been born. Oh and all this, God. all this would have been over. She still believes her. A life for her life. You must really love your husband. I do. The baby, too. Auntie Ethel promised to give this child a good life. Teach them magic, even. More than I could have done. They never keep their promises. Well, I didn't bloody ask you, did I? I didn't ask for any of this. I just wanted Connor back. Now I have to drag his corpse back home. Coffin and all, because a goddamn grave is the closest I'll get to seeing him again. I hope you're happy. That was unexpected, that's what I call a tron of the story, but the story is not over yet. Our next point of destination will be this door, you see, right here. 
and it will be some kind of alchemist laboratory. Let's go here and don't forget to take this stone. You will need it in future. Inside you will find a plenty of interesting things like the ever seen eye. But what you actually need to complete a story will be stuff of crowns. Don't forget to take it. And after you loot everything, let's go over here and enter the mushroom cycle. Oh, where we are? On some kind of shore? Let's go up. I know, we are behind the hut. And this area was covered by arcane barrier, but not Gods. anymore. Didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. Friends, there will be four different ways what you can do in this situation, and I will explain you each one of them. Let's proceed a little bit through the story. I found a wand. I think it can resurrect your husband. What? You can? I think I am. You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back! Bring Connor back! Please! So, the first option will be to destroy this one. And you know, the quest will be unfinished. She will get angry. And remember, Gale won this artifact. So, this will be an option number one. In my opinion, a very bad option. Let's proceed further. Looking good. Hi, Connor. You feel something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. What have you done to him? So, this creature wants a master? Oh, he's useful. not a creature! He's my husband! I wanted him back! Back the way he was! Not this! Okay, friends, and now we have other options. We can kill the undead abomination, and sadly we will have to kill her too. But this will end the quest and we will get her locket. Or we can choose an option number two. Let's try it. And gain control over him. You bastard! Give him back! Sorry, I, I need him help. for myself. I thought... I thought... Okay, you see? The item is transformed and now we have... The second marriage! And it will allow us to summon zombie. I mean, poor Connor. Okay, but there is one more option, and I intended to choose it for my playthrough. Option number one. This is your husband. Do you want him or not? Connor? Connor? Yes, it's wrong. I don't even know if he's in there. But he might be. And if he is, I'll find him and bring him back. Here's the one. Good luck to you and Connor. Thanks, but we'll need more than luck. A bloody miracle, more like it. I'll find a wizard or something. Maybe someone in Baldur's Gate can help us. Connor always said you can find anything in that city. Remember? And thank you, I guess. Come on, love. Let's go. That's true, love. And something tell me we will meet again in the chapter 2 or maybe 3 in the Baldur's Gate. But nevertheless, quest is completed 
It was a wonderful adventure with so many branching storyline, with so many choices and terribly hard combat. Friends, I hope you enjoy it, and if you do, don't forget to like this video and of course subscribe to see more Baldur's Gate adventures. But what about a froggy? Do you think I forgot about this creature? See you in the next video, friends.